Hey girl, what's goody? So we are back with another video at home facial. If you want to know how I get my clear skin at home, then do this facial. And yeah, sit back, relax. Actually, do your skincare with me. Let's do a facial together. Use what you have. First, starting with the steamer, I'm just going to open my pores and get relaxed, turn on some music. I love this steamer. I bought this steamer last year, and it was honestly one of the best purchases of last year that I made. I know they're like super popular now because like quarantine and a lot of different brands make them now. So girl, if you don't have a steamer, where you being? But definitely get one if you don't already have one. I got mine from Amazon and I'm going to link it below. So I'm starting with washing my hands. Always wash your hands before you start your skincare routine. And I'm taking my Neutrogena Pore Minimizing Gentle Cleanser. And I'm just working that into my skin in circular motions. I usually clean my skin with my cleanser for about one minute. I really like this cleanser because it's an exfoliant in itself. So those spin brushes, the Clarisonics, and all those type of little spin brushes where you can get really anywhere now, that isn't good for your skin every day so it's better to get a cleanser that is an exfoliant so that way you can exfoliate every day because this isn't so harsh on your skin and this is also a gentle cleanser while you're doing your skincare if you touch anything like your phone or a surface you want to make sure that you wash your hands so that way you're not spreading that bacteria onto your face because what's that gonna cause acne and that's not really the look that we're going for I usually listen to like really like peaceful music while I'm doing my skincare or my facial and I really love to just let it like sink in and really resonate let the steam really hit my face while my while the product is really absorb while my skin is really absorbing the product my problem areas that I focus on are my pores my texture and the acne scars or like old pimples have left like an acne scar or a dark spot whichever one you want to call it so that's what I try to look for when I'm looking for products my pores are ridiculously atrociously large so this cleanser really helps with them and this was really late so y'all are going to see a lot of dancing because I had to put on a lit playlist to keep me up and to keep me energized to finish filming. Big tip is to use a paper towel when you are drying your face. Do not use a towel, a washcloth, wash rag, whatever you call it, wherever you from. But yes, use a paper towel. It's no germs, none of that. You want to be as clean as possible when you're dealing with your skin. Now I'm using a Bior face strip or well, a nose strip they come in they have face strip and nose strips to really get those pores and dark um blackheads like out of my nose so these are the gold my mom actually put me onto these like my mom put me onto these back in high school but you want to make sure that your nose is really wet or else it's not going to stick on wet your nose first or you can also put it on your forehead so wet the area that you're going to place the strip on first make sure it's really wet or else it's not going to stick and and make sure it's really on there really good and then it's going to harden you're going to let it sit on there for 10 minutes post nose up <laughs> just kidding or not but you are it is going to hurt when you peel it off you know you put it on there right if it hurts when you peel it off but that's how you know that it's working it's pulling all those toxins and blackheads and pores out of your nose or forehead whatever area you put it on <sighs> i miss stealing these out of my mom's bathroom when she wasn't there <laughs> but yeah i've they've actually came out with a lot more since i've seen a lot of influencers promoting these now so 
sorry if that grossed you out, but to the people that like to see stuff like that, I like to look at my pores and the blackheads that have came out of my nose. But now moving on to the mask, the Aztec clay mask is Chef's Kiss. Of course it wastes. Like, it wouldn't be me, it wouldn't be my life if like something didn't waste or go wrong. You know what I'm saying? So that's about how much I use. Pour a little bit of apple cider vinegar, trying to be super careful not to put too much because you don't want it to be too watery, but then you also don't want it, be, don't want it to be too thick either. That's how it looks in the end. And now I am just going to apply the Aztec clay mask on my skin. This Aztec clay mask is the GOAT. I prefer with apple cider vinegar, you can use water. I think it works better with apple cider vinegar. And it's gonna help to really uh, get rid of acne, lighten dark spots or acne marks, whatever you wanna call them. And really just give your skin an overall like cleanse and it's a really deep cleanse, like deep cleansing facial and you're really going to feel it working and my camera did die on me when I finished putting on the facial so y'all are not going to see the entire application but I just used like a little fluffy makeup brush and I applied the Aztec clay mask. I love this mask. I would definitely, definitely recommend it to you guys. And I leave it on, I really leave it on for however long I want. But, I mean, once it gets dry, it's going to turn like a light green. That's how you know it's going to uh, it's gonna be dry. I just let it sit, dance, be on my phone, do the most. And then, of course, rinse it off. You really do have to really, really rinse your face because it is like a clay. So you really got to get off your face. The Aztec mask is very drying. It really does dry out your skin. So make sure that you really moisturize good the night that you do the mask. And then I'm going to go in with the Thayer's Blemish Clearing Toner. Okay. I got it in the lemon scent. And this is supposed toner is really important when you want to like really get an even skin tone and just overall like a brighter skin tone and, and for it to be even y'all see i have dark marks and acne scars that's really like my problem so toning is really important for me because i want to lighten those um acne scars and i want to get one even skin tone period so uh i love toner it does toner also kind of burns after you do the aztec clay mask so beware of that now I'm going to use a pomegranate. I love pomegranate. Anything pomegranate is a yes for me. I think I already told y'all that. I don't know. But it smells really good. This is a mask from Target. And it's one of those like sheet masks. And it's supposed to firm, lift, and really hydrate your skin. And I really did like this mask. It was really like moisturizing. And I liked it. Got it from Target. It was about like... $2.99 maybe it's really good but um, if you don't want like a, that burning sensation after the Aztec clay mask probably skip over toning I can never skip toning because I told y'all I have the tongue but after the Aztec clay mask the uh, toner will burn but me personally, I like the I like the burnings and like the sensations when I could feel stuff working. Like with the Aztec clay mask, you can literally feel it like pulling out the toxins of, of your skin. So it's like I like that. That lets me know that it's working. I like stuff like that. So I guess it's just about preference. And now I'm just like putting on the sheet mask. And then I'm going to take a jade roller and you guys, I put my jade roller in the refrigerator. That's the number one thing you want to make sure that it is cold and I am obsessed with this jade roller because it really is going to make the um, 
ingredients in the sheet mask it's really gonna lock them into my skin and it's cold so it feels really really good and cold anything cold will close your pores so that's really good for me because like I told you guys I have ridiculously large pores so that's really good for me as far as like jade rolling and J rolling has a, a J roller has plenty of benefits as far as like wrinkles fine lines um keeping your skin firm and just like it reduces under eye puffiness and dark circles tightens and minimizes pores like i told you guys uh it tones your facial uh, muscles and it also like like i told you guys it's going to really help any like serum you have or facial mask ingredients any type of it's really going to help absorb your, your skin absorb those products that you put so you can also do this after you've put on a serum or moisturizer and look at my skin it just looks really really great and hydrated so after i take it off after i take the mask off i also go in with a j roller again and really just the remaining product really work it into my skin it increases circulation in your face and it's just really overall it's really really it's i really really love this j roller and you guys should definitely get one i got mine from target you can also get them on amazon but love it now i'm using my sunflower serum you guys this is another one of my um top five but this is another goat in my skincare routine it has really helped me with my dark spots and clearing up my acne and minimizing my pores especially i think it helped the most with fading my dark spots because like I told you guys, those are my three main problems. I don't really have like acne. I just really have like dark spots from when I did break out, maybe one pimple or two, and then they leave dark spots that literally never take forever to go away. So, and whatever you do to your face, do to your neck, remember that. And also when you roll the j roller on your forehead roll it in an upward motion when you are putting anything on your neck put it in an upward motion now i'm taking another serum from first Sally. this is the unicorn essence serum it has a lot of benefits as well you can use this as a makeup primer before you put on makeup or you can use it as a daily serum which is what i use it for as a serum and it basically just protects your skin and it's moisturizing and it just has all this like vitamin C in it, really like fruit, like really good benefits. So I am taking this facial massager and I now that I have my serums on and I'm really just massaging my face and massaging these serums. Uh oh, TikTok moment. <laughs> Go metallic night. I could shake it out with. Okay. <laughs> Who I got that one friend where it's like they always gotta do the most when they dance. They gotta hit the moves extra hard. <laughs> I got this massager from Amazon, but my sis Heather Sanders put me on. And I just like to use this to just really lock in all of my serums. If you try the sunflower serum, I just want to give you a heads up that it is very oily so if you have combo or oily skin be on the lookout for that try not to use as much the Frasali serum is water based so it's not so oily and it's not going to be slipping and sliding and gliding all over your skin now i'm taking the glow recipes banana moisturizer to moisturize my skin make sure you moisturize even if you have oily or combination skin it's very important to your routine I think we could all use a facial or some type of self-care considering all that's going on right now in the world and I really hope you all are staying positive and praying and really just getting involved and I hope your voice is heard and I'm praying that a change will be done. It's great all the awareness that Black Lives Matter is bringing and I'm just sending a lot of positive vibes and 
prayers over everyone. I have the watermelon sleeping mask from Glow Recipe as well. I'm just gonna apply that. This is just really gonna lock in that moisture, give me more, more moisture, and keep it overnight locked in, have me my skin looking radiant in the morning. And it smells really great. All their products smell really, really great. Now I'm taking the Glow Recipes Lip Pop. It's just a lip exfoliator and I'm going to apply that. Then I'm going to lock everything in with my Watermelon Glow Mist from Glow Recipe as well. And that is just going to lock everything in place. Who's seen that meme of Jay Versace where it's like after my 25 step skincare routine and he's like super oiled down. That's literally how I'm going to look y'all. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I think this video was perfect timing because we could all use a spa day right now. And let me know if you like this video in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to see more like at home facial spa days. We can start like a self-care Sundays. Y'all just let me know and subscribe to my channel. Tell everyone you know to subscribe. It's Gemini season. It's my birthday June 15th. Make sure to tag me if you get any of these products. And my skin was so glowy and radiant. And the next day, it was literally on 10. Loved it. But thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one.